everyone, welcome to Make 2 Explore channel. First of all, thank you to all our subscribers, viewers, and supporters. In this video, we will see how to set up and run machine learning Docker container on NVIDIA Jetson Nano. NVIDIA Jetson Developer Kit is very popular SOM, or, you can say, single board computer. This development board is powerful computer that let you run multiple neural networks in parallel. Also it is capable of deploying AI, machine learning, computer vision, and deep learning applications. To build such applications, sometimes we may require containerized environment. Containers encapsulate an application or your project along with its libraries and other dependencies to provide reproducible and reliable execution of applications without the overhead of a full virtual machine. Docker is an open source containerization platform. We will see in detail about what are containers, what is Docker, how we can install and use it on NVIDIA Jetson. In this video tutorial we will also see how we can enable Jupyter Lab environment on Jetson Nano and access it headlessly using your laptop to get started with Python, machine learning, and computer vision programming. So, without any delays, let's get started. Let us see what is mean by a Docker, container, Docker image, and NGC cloud. So, over the last few years there has been a dramatic rise in the use of software containers for simplifying deployment of data center applications at scale. A container is an executable unit of software where an application and its runtime dependencies can all be packaged together into one entity. Containers encapsulate an application or your project along with its libraries and other dependencies to provide reproducible and reliable execution of applications without the overhead of a full virtual machine. Since everything needed by the application is packaged with the application itself, containers provide a degree of isolation from the host and make it easy to deploy and install the application without having to worry about the host environment and application dependencies. It is kind of virtualization technology that makes easy for us to develop and deploy apps inside the neatly packaged virtual containerized environments. So, you can see here, comparison between virtual machine and containers. Containers are more lightweight than virtual machines. They use less resources than that of virtual machines. So, this was all about containers. Now, let us see about what is Docker. Docker is an open source platform for creating, deploying, and running containers. Docker is an open source containerization platform. It enables developers to package applications into containers. Standardized executable components combining application, source code with the operating system libraries, and dependencies required to run that code in any environment. Docker is included in NVIDIA Jetpack system image. So, running containers on Jetson is easy and does not require any installation. Okay, now let's see about what is Docker image. A Docker image is simply the software, including the file system and parameters, that you run within a Docker container. It is a file system that a developer builds. Each layer depends on the layer below it in the stack. So, you can see here in an image, when you build Docker files, it creates Docker image. And when Docker image is run, or instantiated, container is created. When creating a container, you add a writable layer on top of the stack. A Docker image with a writable container layer added to it is a container. So we can say here, a container is simply a running instance of that image. All changes and modifications made to the container are made to the writable layer. You can delete the container, however, the Docker image remains untouched. This is the beauty of Docker and all this containerized environment concept. Moving forward, let us see what is actually a Docker container. Simply put, a Docker container is an instance of a Docker image. It deploys a single application or service per container. It is a mechanism for bundling a Linux application with all of its libraries, data files, and environment variables so that the execution environment is always the same 
on whatever Linux system it runs and between instances on the same host. So, Docker is not like virtual machine, which has its own isolated kernel, whereas containers use the host system kernel. Therefore, all kernel calls from the container are handled by the host system kernel. A Docker container is composed of layers. The layers are combined to create the container. You can think of layers as intermediate images that add some capability to the overall container. If you make a change to a layer through a Docker file, then Docker rebuilds that layer and all subsequent layers, but not the layers that are not affected by the build. This reduces the time to create containers and also allows you to keep them modular. So, this was all about Docker container. Now, let's see its main benefits. Over the last few years, there has been a dramatic rise in the use of software containers for simplifying deployment of data center applications at scale. Why we should use Docker containers. Here are some advantages of the Docker containers. You can install your application, dependencies, and environment variables only once into the container image, rather than on each system you run on. There is no risk of conflict with libraries that are installed by others. Containers allow use of multiple different deep learning frameworks, which may have conflicting software dependencies on the same server. After you build your application into a container, you can run it on lots of other places, especially servers, without having to install any software. You can easily share, collaborate, and test applications across different environments. Specific GPU resources can be allocated to a container for isolation and better performance. Docker is also very good about keeping one copy of the layers on a system. This saves space and also greatly reduces the possibility of version skew so that layers that should be the same are not duplicated. You can find more information on this NVIDIA documentation page. Like, why do you say container? what inside it, how to use them, etc. We will share this link in description. Let's move forward and see what is NGC. Basically, NGC stands for NVIDIA GPU Cloud. NVIDIA NGC is a hub for GPU-optimized deep learning, machine learning, and high-performance computing, means HPC software. NGC hosts containers for the top AI and data science software, all tuned, tested, and optimized by NVIDIA. Containers are an NVIDIA GPU cloud website, provides powerful and easy-to-deploy software, proven to deliver fast results, allowing users to build solutions from a tested framework with complete control. Here on this link, you will find information about how to getting started with NGC, with containers and models on NGC. Catalog of various optimized containers for different GPUs. Visit the Jetson Cloud Native page. Several containers for Jetson are hosted on NVIDIA NGC. Please go through it for more details. All the links will be shared in description. Moving forward, let us see how to pull and run Docker container from NGC catalog. Go to NGC Cloud page. Here you can see. The NGC catalog hosts containers for the top AI and data science softwares. In the search field you can search your query, we will search for our GPU name. Jetson Nano. Here containers related to it will get listed down here. Like, voice demo. Gaze demo. Pose demo. Deepstream people detection. L4T machine learning other containers with PyTorch, TensorFlow, etc. So, we will see more about this L4TML container, which we are going to use as base container during our coming projects and applications. Click on that. It will get open. Read description given here. Get started on your AI journey quickly on Jetson. This machine learning container contains TensorFlow, PyTorch, JupyterLab, and other popular computer vision, machine learning, and data science frameworks such as Scikit-Learn, SciPy, and Pandas pre-installed in a Python 3.6 environment. So, down here, you will find pull command. 
We need to use this command if we want to download this container on your system. An overview, they say as, this is a machine learning container for Jetson and Jetpack. This container support the following releases of Jetpack for Jetson Nano, TX1, TX2, Xavier NX, and AGX Xavier. These all are development kits of NVIDIA. Going forward, here, they shown what packages are included in this container. Like TensorFlow, NumPy, PyTorch, TorchVision, Scython, Scikit-Learn, Matplotlib, and JupyterLab, etc. Okay, now let's see how you can run this container. Before running, you should first pull one of the L4TML container tags from above, corresponding to your Jetpack version. This is the pull command. Then to start an interactive session in the container, run the following command. Let's see this command in detail. Here there are different tags in this command. Like dash IT, which is used if you want to run the container in interactive mode. This RM tag used if you want to delete the container when finished. Likewise, if you want to mount directories from the host device, then use this command where they have used dash V flag. These are the directories separated by colon. And next, when the container is launched, the Jupyter Lab server will automatically be started. You can connect to it by navigating your browser to http colon double slash localhost colon 8888. Or you have to substitute the IP address of your Jetson device if you wish to connect from a remote host. All right. This was all about theory part. Now, in next session we will see demo of how to pull and run Docker container on our Jetson Nano. Let's first do hardware software setup and make Jetson Nano ready. Prepare Jetson Nano developer kit with latest Jetpack and in standalone or headless mode of operation. Set up and first boot, there are two ways to interact with the developer kit. With display mode, connecting monitor, keyboard, and mouse, as shown in figure here. And second is headless mode, like this. Connect Jetson Nano to your Wi-Fi network on which your laptop is connected. Once connected, log into Jetson Nano through terminal software like PuTTY through SSH. All this above procedure, we have explained in detail in our getting started with Jetson Nano tutorial. You can click here in I button also, or see description of this video, where you will find the link to that video tutorial. Check that out to get prepare your Jetson Nano. All right, now let's see demo. How to download and run the NVIDIA machine learning container on Jetson Nano. We will use L4TML container, which we have seen in earlier session. Let's go to NGC container catalog again. Here, search for name of GPU or developer kit, Jetson Nano. All catalog related to it will get listed. Then, find this L4TML container. Open it. Here is the pull command. Please note here, you have to put correct tag according to Jetpack version you are running on your system. Otherwise you may encounter a manifest unknown error. Okay then. We are running Jetpack 4.5 on our Nano. So, we will use pull command with tag. R32.5.0. Also, keep note of one more important thing here, that you will require internet connectivity and data around 2 GB in case you have metered connection. As you can see here, the size of this container is of 1.54 GBs. So, going back to presentation. Our pull command will look something like this. Next, let's see run command. This is our run command. Let's see each part in detail. Here, runtime NVIDIA tag will use the NVIDIA container runtime while running the L4T base container. IT tag means run in interactive mode. RM tag will delete the container when finished. Network host tag allows the container to use your Jetson host network and ports. 
Volume tag defines a mounting directory and is used to share the persistent data files between the Jetson host and the container. Device tag allows access to the video devices like USB camera or CSI camera. OK, now open the terminal and execute the pull command. Here is the terminal. Paste the pull command. Then click Enter. This command requires super user credentials. Therefore, we need to use pseudo privileges. Just make sure that you entered correct Jetpack version. If everything entered correctly, container will start downloading. It will take some time. Since these image files are usually larger in gigabytes, download time depends on your internet speed. We will fast forward this process. OK, now, download got completed. It took approximately 10 minutes in our system. It is of 1.54 GB file. Here, you can run this Docker image. You can use list, the ls command, to verify that pull process executed successfully or not. It will list existing Docker images on your system. Let's move forward and see how to use the container. Let's see how to set the data directory. The data collected during the course is stored in a mounted directory on the host device. This way, the data and trained models aren't lost when the container shuts down. Let's create directory for data. Name it as L4T-data. Like this. Then check you have connected camera device or not. List the connected devices. Here, we have used Logitech C270 camera, which got listed here. Then next, paste, and enter the container run command. Like this. You will see this message saying, allow 10 seconds for Jupyter Lab to start. It will show link and password to access the Jupyter Lab server. Let's copy this address and note down the password. Then, Go to your internet browser. Paste and go to that link. You will be asked to enter password to access the Jupyter Lab. Enter password and login. That's it. You can see here Jupyter Labs launcher. Here with all the options like terminal, Python consoles, etc. You can see here in File Explorer of Jupyter Lab. The folder, which we have used with volume tag in docker run command, means the mounted directory from host, L4T data, will also appear here. So, as we have mentioned earlier, the data collected during the session is stored in a mounted directory on the host device. This way, the data and trained models aren't lost when the container shuts down. So far, in this tutorial, we have seen what are Docker containers? How to download or pull the Docker container from NVIDIA's GPU cloud? Then, we have also seen how to run Docker container and access the Jupyter Notebook into that. Once above all the setup get done, you can get started with Python and computer vision programming on Jetson Nano with different OpenCV and machine learning libraries. Let's see that in next project. Finally, in this way, we have completed this tutorial. If you face any difficulty in replicating any of our DIY projects or tutorials, feel free to ping us on Telegram, or you can also send us email at info at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you.